Hi, I'm Andy. Thanks for watching. This video, we're going to talk about what to check if your refrigerator is too warm. Now, typically, this is going to be one of two scenarios. It could be that your freezer section is doing just fine. It's running right around zero degrees Fahrenheit. It's keeping everything frozen rock solid, but the refrigerator section is too warm. Or second scenario, it could be that both cabinets are running on the warm side. Either they're hot or they're just running warmer than normal. Either way, these diagnostic steps will help. I'll be walking you through a series of questions on a flowchart. Depending on your answers, it'll help determine what to research further. Hope the information's helpful. If it is, please be sure and hit subscribe. Helps the channel. Let's get to work. One thing to keep in mind when we're talking through these diagnostic steps is these are broadly applicable to all refrigeration systems. However, model to model may vary on how they accomplish the cooling process. What I mean by that is we're looking specifically at a GE side-by-side -side refrigerator. It has a single evaporator. It cools the refrigerator section by taking cold air from the freezer, using a fan to pipe that through a damper door, and then that damper door opens and closes depending on how cold the refrigerator needs to be. Your particular setup may be a dual evaporator system. The main difference is you have two evaporators, two evaporator fans, you may or may not have damper doors. And just keeping in mind the fact that each of these evaporators and each of these fans can cause independent issues in each cabinet, depending on which one you're, you're having trouble with. So to get started, this flowchart is broken down into two scenarios, just like we talked about in the beginning. Either both cabinets are giving you issues, or one of the cabinets is giving you issues and the other one is fine. So the first question is, are both the freezer and the fridge too warm? Don't answer this question too quickly. Uh, many times people will note that they're having an issue with the refrigerator section and say, oh, my freezer's fine. But in fact, maybe it's running 10 degrees too warm in the freezer and you just don't realize it yet. So um, what you're looking for is zero degrees Fahrenheit in the freezer and roughly 37, 38 degrees in the refrigerator section. If it's above 40 in the fridge, that's too warm. If it's above 5 degrees in the freezer, that's too warm. So we're going to take a look at the first scenario. Let's say that our freezer is running at 0 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's our refrigerator section is too warm. We would answer no. Both the refrigerator and the freezer are not too warm, so no. We would then answer, is the evaporator fan running? If it is not, is the fan getting appropriate voltage? So we would test at the plug that leads to the evaporator fan. If it is not getting correct voltage, we need to suspect a bad control board or fan power supply. However, if it is getting voltage and the fan is still not turning, we would then replace the fan motor. That's where our problem lies. But if our evaporator fan was running, no issues there, we could move along to the next step. We would then need to visually examine the evaporator coils. This is done by removing the back wall of the freezer to get eyeballs on that evaporator coil. Looks like a radiator should be coated in a light frost. So what we're looking for then is, is there excessive ice buildup on the evaporator? If there is, you can suspect a defrost issue. So if you have um, a heavy coating of snow, um, what's going on is it's restricting the airflow. The freezer is doing its job, but it can't circulate the air because you have a defrost issue. But if there's not excessive ice buildup, we can answer no to that question. Then we need to see, is the defrost heater glowing while the compressor is also running? If it is, that's a defrost issue, a stuck relay on the control board or a bad defrost timer. It should never, um, the defrost should never be on whenever the compressor is running. It would be working against itself. But if it's not glowing, answer no to that question. And is there appropriate frost buildup on the evaporator after the compressor has been running for 30 minutes? So a light coating of frost is what you're looking for. Um, everything basically coated in frost except for maybe the first one or two rungs of the evaporator. That would be normal. If there is no frost buildup or if it's only on the first or second rung, that's a bad frost pattern is what it's called and you would need to check the sealed system. It likely has a either a compressor or a Freon issue at that point. 
But if it has appropriate frost buildup um, on most of the rungs on the evaporator, you would then need to focus your direction on a bad damper. Either the damper is frozen shut, broken, or it's not getting appropriate voltage. It could be a bad damper motor. Um, that's where you would focus your attention. The next scenario that we're going to take a look at is if both freezer and refrigerator compartments are too warm. Just a reminder that anything over 5 degrees Fahrenheit in the freezer is too warm. Anything over 40 Fahrenheit in the refrigerator is too warm. If that's the case, in both compartments it's too warm, we need to determine is the condenser fan running. So the condenser fan is located behind your refrigerator. If the condenser fan is not running, we need to determine at that plug to the fan, is it getting appropriate voltage? If it is not getting appropriate voltage to the plug for the fan, you need to suspect a failed control board or fan power supply. However, if it is getting appropriate voltage, yet the fan is still not turning, that indicates that you have a failed fan motor and you would need to replace the condenser fan motor. Let's assume that the condenser fan motor is running and we'll move on to the next step. We need to determine now if the condenser coils are clean. If they're coated in dust and animal hair, you need to clean that and then continue to the next step. If the condenser coils are clean, let's determine if the compressor is running. If the compressor is running and all your fans are working and your condenser coils clean, really your freezer should be cold. If it is not, you can suspect a sealed system issue and that's where you would need to research further. But if the compressor is not running, let's move to the next step. The next step you would need to determine if you're getting 120 volts before the relays at the compressor. If you are not getting voltage to these two wires, you can suspect a failed control board or a cold control. However, if you're getting voltage before the relays, we now need to determine if we're getting voltage after the relays. If you are not getting voltage after the relays, you would need to replace the compressor relays. However, if you are getting voltage after the relays as well, you would then need to focus your attention on checking the compressor. Well, thanks for watching. I hope the information was helpful. If it was, please be sure and hit subscribe. It helps a lot. Also, if you do have any questions, please be sure to leave those in the comments below. I'll do my absolute best to answer them. See you next time.